find the function satisfying the following conditions. So you have a function whose derivative is this, and uh, it has this initial condition, uh, f at 0 gives you negative 3. Now, such a problem is called an initial condition problem, uh, initial value problem, so initial value problem. And uh, it, it's because uh, in physics, often when the velocity is given as some function of time, uh, to figure out the position, you also need to be provided the initial velocity. So that's where the name comes from. Uh, but for us, uh, the name is not too important. You just have to figure out what the function uh, satisfying these two conditions should be. Uh, first, what I want you to notice is that uh, f has the derivative of the right side. Therefore, fx is like the antiderivative of this function. Now antiderivatives are linear, meaning that you can split this into integral of square root of x times 12 and 6 times integral of e to the x. Very convenient, right? And then uh, since square root of x can be written as one-half power and by the way uh, the integral of e to the x is e to the x so it's just simply 6 e to the x and usually you put plus c for integrals but because this this uh, integral will also produce a c we'll not put the plus c now you just have to put plus c just once okay uh, so you have this one which you integrate by the power rule which is you add 1 to the 1 half that's 3 over 2 put the reciprocal in front 2 thirds there's already a 12 plus 6 c to the x and now you put plus c because you've handled all the integrals 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so you end up with 8 times x to the 3 over 2 plus 6 times e to the x plus c now, that means f of x is this function. The only thing that's not known to us is what's this, this value c. Okay? And it's this second condition that will tell us what c should be. So let's think about what f of 0 should be if fx is this function. So f of 0, according to what we just figured out, should be 8 times 0 to 3 over 2 plus 6 times e to the 0th power plus c. Let's simplify. 0 to a positive power is just 0. So the first one is 0. e to 0th power, that's 1. So 6 times 1. And then plus c. c is a constant. So that's what you get. You get 6 plus c. Now, notice that f of 0 has to be negative 3. So you know that 6 plus c has to equal to negative 3, which means c is equal to negative 9. Now you feel like you've achieved something, so many people abandon this problem at this point thinking that they've figured out the full solution. But you're not do done yet because the answer is looking for the function satisfying this, so you have to write the function, and the function is 8 times x to 3 over 2 plus 6 times e to the x minus 9. That's the answer. 